What's up, everyone? Tara Roberts here with Fantasy Alarm, and we are talking DFS bargains for week 12. I normally hit in that mid to low 5K range for quarterbacks, but this week I am raising the threshold just a bit so we can get Geno Smith at 6K on DraftKings. Geno Smith is a top 10 quarterback this season. And while the upside of 30 plus fantasy point games doesn't hit very often, it does in fact exist. And this sets up perfectly to be one of those games. Las Vegas has struggled on defense all season long. Smith has four straight games with two touchdowns. If Smith can hit two touchdowns and get over 300 yards plus his work on the ground, he is an excellent option at his price. At running back, there are two high upside plays around 5K this week. We are so lucky. The first option is Rashad White at just 5,100 on DraftKings. Leonard Fournette is doubtful to play, and White will likely be the Bucks' lead back on Sunday. White is coming off a game of 22 carries for 105 yards. That was an odd game for him because he's typically seen solid work through the air. But against a Browns defense that struggles to stop the run, Expect a similar performance with upside through the air plus a potential touchdown to get him over 20 fantasy points. The second option at running back is Latavius Murray at 5K on DraftKings. We hit with Murray last week and let's do it again because Latavius Murray is literally the last man standing in Denver. Melvin Gordon has been run out of town and there is a new sheriff in charge and it is Latavius Murray. That was my poor attempt at a Wild West kind of Denver humor. Um, just go with it. Thank you very much. But in addition to all of that, Chase Edmonds is on IR, and it's unlikely that any other Broncos option, Marlon Mack, makes an impact this week. Carolina is an excellent matchup for running backs, and Murray is coming off of a game of 17 carries for 49 yards and a touchdown, plus four receptions for 23 yards. I wouldn't expect Murray to be extremely efficient, but volume will be the key here, and the price is right. At wide receiver, Nico Collins has been a weekly cheapy that I love, and he is still just 4,100 on DraftKings. Last week's performance was underwhelming, but that was more of a four play with him for five catches on seven targets for 48 yards, but he continues to lead the way in target share and has an excellent matchup with Miami this week. But it does come with a little bit of a risk because Kyle Allen is getting the start this week. But I don't particularly mind it because that also means that Collins will be a very low rostered option suitable for tournament play, avoiding cash, but fine in GPP. Demarcus Robinson at 4,300 is another solid option. I love the upside here that he has, and it should be an excellent matchup for him in uh, Jacksonville who has allowed the eighth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. And it might feel like we're chasing points here, but I promise that we are not doing that because Robinson's target share has been solid for three games in a row. It's consistent and it's real. He is operating as the de facto wide receiver one for Baltimore. We haven't seen another Ravens receiver capable of doing that. Robinson is dealing with an injury, so keep your eye on that, but he did practice in full on Friday, so I don't think there's anything to really worry about. Just double check before you set your lineups. And if you want to get really spicy, you could go all the way down to Demir Bird at just 3,100 on DraftKings. Kyle Pitts is sadly done for the season, and the Falcons truly don't have anyone that could step into his role. And while his role has been disappointing, the targets were there, and that has to be replaced. We've seen Demir Bird pop up with these fantasy-relevant performances twice this season, and if the Falcons do opt to lean heavier on the receiving core, Bird is the man that stands to benefit the most, especially if defenses can now take the approach that they can just lock down Drake London. Let's go even lower with Sky Moore at just 3 thousand on DraftKings. I saved the best for last because quite honestly, I am very in on Sky Moore this week. The price is fantastic. And despite the awful start to the season, Moore has persevered. And when the opportunity knocked last week, he took full advantage of it, catching five of his six targets for 63 yards, and he looked electric doing it. Now, I think the Chiefs will be more aggressive through the air in this game against the Rams. And I like Moore to fall in line behind Juju Smith-Schuster, who is returning, Kadarius Tony is out, 
and it means that he can be the second leading target recipient in the Chiefs receiving core. Now, the low-end, tight-end options have really been a drag lately. The lowest I can comfortably go with this week is Foster Moreau at 3,400 on DraftKings. This is really just a nice matchup against a Seattle team that has struggled against the tight end position. Moreau could have some touchdown upside in this matchup, so I like him this week. Thank you for watching this video. As always, subscribe to Fantasy Alarm. Please like the video and remember to come back next week for another round of DFS Bargains.